as much as I love Christmas as a festivity and as much as I love markets, I think that Christmas markets in London are overcrowded, overpriced and just generally overrated. And in this video, I will tell you exactly why. Hi Curious Gang, it's your London friend Vasi that loves her city and also loves traveling and in today's video I'm actually going to give Christmas markets in London a second chance and we will go to the Christmas market in Selfridges, the one in Leicester Square and we will see if they still can offer some authentic food or not and I will actually play a little fun game with you and we will see how many of the authentic German foods we we can find in there and most importantly we will have the final judgment if they're worth spending your time and money or it's just better for you to stay away from them by the way guys just keep in mind that i filmed this video in two days because i wanted to try as many markets as possible and also because it turned out that the selfridges market needs a pre-booking which i didn't have the first day so i had to go the day after if you want to see more videos from beautiful London with me and Ben, don't forget to hit the subscribe bell button down below. Let me give you a little bit of history and also I would say kind of a fun fact before we head off to this Christmas market. Do you know that their original purpose was to sell meat and generally products which people would need for Christmas? So they opened these markets outside so that the people can have extended periods of time where they can go and buy the products which they need for cooking and this was mostly meat and I would say nowadays you can find pretty much anything except for meat and last week we went to winter wonderland and they were selling churros pretty much at every second stand and churros come from Spain as far as I remember by the way if you want to see my video from Valencia where I try authentic churros I will have it linked in the description down below and also here and I have my list of German foods in here and I'm going to read those because I don't really speak German and I'm totally going to butcher that but we'll be looking for Bettmannschen which is basically this pastry which is filled inside with marzipan and I totally love it of course Bratwurst, which is kind of a German sausage the typical milled wine something which is called Einr which is kind of a eggnog and my total favorite thing out of this Christmas treat it is the stolen which is kind of like this fruit cake which has a lot of dried fruits and inside it is also filled with marzipan so I keep my fingers crossed that we can find it in at least one of the Christmas markets. Oh, and I was about to forget the typical gingerbread cookies. In Germany, they have the bigger ones, which are used more kind of a de as, as a decoration, but of course they also have the small ones, which are more delicious to eat. And after I gave you like this quick food history, guys, let me know in the comments down below, how many of these traditional authentic foods do you think we'll be able to find at the Selfridges market? see my favorite street here in London and now during Christmas times I feel like it's even more beautiful and every year the Christmas decoration changes let's go by the way what do you feel about my jacket do you like it because I feel a little bit like a bear <laughs> like tons of people around this is because like it's the black friday weekend so i feel like everyone is shopping it's actually insane how many people there are around after that we got pretty cold so we went to get some coffee and i got a soy cappuccino and to be honest with you this is like literally how i drink my cappuccino every time so first i eat with a spoon the foam on top and after that i drink it I don't know why, but I really enjoy it. And you see guys, it's 
like super super dark and can you guess what time it is? It's 4. It is literally 4.40. Like how is it possible? It's such a like trick for my mind because I'm having the feeling that it's like 9 or 10 and I should almost go to bed. Yeah, I'm, but, we have, I'm hungry, can we have dinner? But yeah, it's like literally in the middle of the afternoon. It's so weird. Oh my god, you guys, it's so hard for me to explain to you how many people are in here. Imagine like the underground in a rush hour or just imagine how are sardines inside a can. This is pretty much how you feel in here all the time. The market itself looks pretty similar to the one which we saw last week in Winter Wonderland. But still, let, we're here, so let's explore it together. And so on this market we have churros, we have the holders for candles and again some sweets which is pretty much exactly the things that we saw with Winter Wonderland. Like I swear the churros were looking exactly the same or even pretty much the holder for candles which I think it's a little bit odd. So after I saw that the churros are like 8 pounds each I think I'm going home to eat some pasta. What a nice note. This is giving me like such a big deja vu from last year because the decoration is literally the same. We are close to Black Friday. Oh! oh central London anyways so we are like close to Black Friday it's the end of November there is a new variant coming up and everyone is talking about lockdown and I'm wondering are we going to have another Christmas in lockdown I kind of hope we don't because I haven't been back home for Christmas since like two years now so really fingers crossed anyways let's enjoy the Christmas lights and pretend that everything is fine I said that I'm not going to judge but at the same time I forgot to tell you that if you want to go to the Selfridges Christmas market it's actually better if you book it in advance because otherwise it's likely that they won't have enough free spots which isn't it a little bit ridiculous it's like since when are we booking goes to the Christmas market but anyways I'm trying to be positive so we're going and we'll enjoy it anyways Come with me. Ready for some maybe churros uh, or hopefully some authentic German food. Stolen. And we're starting very strong with like typical food for Christmas markets from Venezuela. Like nothing against it, it's just 
kind of expected that they won't have so much classical, ger typical German food. They also make pizza. Oh, do they? Yeah, they go over there. It's a pizza place and a Venezuelan like, food stand. I mean... Amazing. Let's see what, what else is around and I will tell you, but so far it pretty much looks like any other market. Food hall. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so let me tell you, I had in my head this like super fixed idea of uh, having typical German Christmas food because this is from where the Christmas market actually originated. But something which I'm thinking at the moment is that wouldn't it be so much better if instead of just like having pizza, for example, that you can taste original Christmas food from Italy or instead of having this stand which sells food from Venezuela wouldn't it be so much better to taste their actual food for Christmas I think this would work so much better what do you think guys would you go to one of these stands hi welcome to the lake uh, advent calendar section today for only 75 pounds you can have a little bit of chocolate I don't know let's leave it here because if I break this it's, it's a day of work no market was a little bit overwhelming. I actually expected that I would find more Christmassy food in there but there wasn't like pretty much anything from all my list. So in the end we got two of these bagels because it's like one and we're pretty hungry. So we got like bagels with salmon and cream cheese which are 50% off. We'll have a quick bite and uh, we'll be going to explore the rest of the market. Chestnuts and also uh, almonds coated in sugar are very typical foods for the Christmas market as well. And guys, do you know where was the first ever Christmas market? It, the first one was dating in 1434 in the city of Dresden. And this sweet thing, the Stollen, which I was talking about, it is distinctive Christmas bread exactly from this city. But yeah, unfortunately, no stolen also in this market, just more fudge and, of course, our favorite churros. After having visited five Christmas markets in London, unfortunately, I have to say that I'm still not convinced that they're really worth it because I didn't find any of the typical Christmas German foods that I was looking for and overall the food that they are selling you can find it pretty much anywhere in like any other market here in London or like literally at the supermarket but of course they put a little bit of Christmas music and the lights and like they make the cute atmosphere and they sell it for like 10 times uh, higher the price but I still hope you enjoyed this video and uh, thank you for watching and I will see you in my next one love you all bye and don't forget to subscribe <laughs>